Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good evening. My dear niñitos. Four people. Hey, yeah. How are you Baby. doing? Hola. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Good evening, everyone. Today is December the second, the second day of the month. <clears throat> and uh, this is class 14. 11 classes more and we finish, okay? Uh, tomorrow you have to take the midterm, midterm exam and homework, right? Tonight, the topic is focus groups, article reading. So let's begin. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. General objective, specific objectives, and the class objective for today. Tonight, we're going to begin with opinion, questions, questions and model, questions and focus group, and report. Before we begin with the opinion, let's see who is here. Anaselmi Chévez. Present teacher. Oh, yes. Nadelmi Carranza de Guzmán. Pero así como vemos eso, lo vamos a terminar. Dani bien. Anthony Siguentes. Van a terminar antes que la chay. Dani Anthony Siguentes. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Guadalupe del Carmen López. José Carlos Argueta Romero. José Ignacio. José Norberto Velázquez. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Presente, chair. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Presente, chair. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Presente, chair. Hola, bien, punto. Pues, Decito, no le voy a ir. No le hallo donde. Ya le he puesto la pantalla. No sé dónde le Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Ah, se, se pierde cuando él pone la pantalla. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Present, teacher. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, present. Pam, no, Good evening, present. <laughs> René Osvaldo Bonilla Herrera. Okay, okay, está bien. René, no. Okay, guys. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present. So today, it's going to be the Guadalupe Gómez. Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher, good evening. Okay. Present teacher, Guadalupe. Cuando yo hablo, 
Okay, so let's see. Guadalupe del Carmen is here. Okay, I can see Present. you. Yes, my friend, I can see you. Pedrina. I see Pedrina, I see Guadalupe, I see Pam. I see, who else do I see? Um, I see Jose Carlos. I don't know if Rudy is here. I'm here, teacher. Excellent, Rudy. I'm here too, teacher. <laughs> okay, who else? Okay, Carlita is with us. Hi, teacher, I am here. Excellent. Marvin, <clears throat> not right. Well, okay. Let me see. Cari is with us. One Cari. The other Cari is not with us. Okay. One Cari with glasses. Teacher, the two wear glasses. <laughs> okay. Don Jose Ignacio already came. Ricardo is also connected, right? Hello, teacher. Yes, hello, my friend. Present. Yes, present. Okay, I was checking the camera because normally I expect to see the camera on when I call attendance, right? And um, I didn't hear anything and I didn't see the camera on. So I didn't know if the people were present. So. But now, yes, I see that you are present, okay? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, okie dokie. Then my friends, let's begin with the first thing. Do you agree how to run a focus group? These are eight steps or eight things that we need to consider before running a group, a focus group. Number one, choose your topic of discussion. Okay, what is the topic of discussion? The product, right? The product. Choose your questions or discussion prompts. This is something that we have to talk about later, questions. Prepare your focus group questionnaire. Something that we will talk about. Appoint a note taker, a secretary, someone that is going to be taking notes. Recruit and schedule participants. Get consent and start the discussion. Have everyone introduce themselves. Ask your questions. Okay. <clears throat> do you agree with the steps? Or do you think that uh, one is extra? Or do you think that we need any other? Is it necessary to add uh, another one? What do you think? Or do you think that the, the ones that we have are enough? Yes, Don Ignacio, what do you think? What's your opinion about that? Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe the uh, number two, choose your question or discussion prompt. Uh, yes, number two, you agree or disagree about them, about it. Okay. 
soccer. I, I agree. Okay. Which else do you think we should add? Or do you think that this is enough? You can add a nine step, like a thanks the participant. Okay, exactly. Thank the participants for their participation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. That is one more. What else? Is there another one that we don't have here? Okay, maybe enough, right? Don't worry. We're going to be getting to a lot of more, a lot more information about this. Let's move on. Questions. Okay, this one we're going to be working in the groups. We're going to be discussing this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Example, uh, for the first one, <clears throat> check answer, I live in San Miguel. So the question should be what? Where do you live? Where do, do you live? live? Where do you live? Excellent. Okay, now for page 11. Put these questions in order. Do you have to answer the questions? No. Only put them in order. Number one. What's number one? When was this house built? When was this house built? Excellent. And uh, make questions with who or what. To make questions with who or what, we only substitute the subject. Substitute the subject. If we are substituting a person, we use who. If we are substituting an object, we use what. Somebody hit me. Who hit me? Who, who hit me? Okay. Who hit me? What? Number four. Something, something happened. What do you say? What? What happened? Okay. Now, what happens if there is a subject? I hit somebody. I hit somebody. What's the question? Who, Who hit. hit? Who did I hit? Who did I hit? Okay, if I'm substituting the subject, I only say, who hit me? Who hit me? But over here in number two is, who did I hit? Who did I hit? And in number four, something happened. What happened? Or in number five, Diane said something. What did Diane say? What did Diane say? Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing with this one. Okay, so you will be doing 10, 11, and 12. Teacher. Yes, in, I uh, in, I don't clear the, the example to the, I hit some, some wine. Okay. Uh, for example, to hit, you are a boxer, so you know, hit. You hit yes. some, right? hit yeah okay so i hit someone someone says oh, it's crying right because i hit someone yeah but if you say someone hit me they say ah someone hit me right 
So it means that in number one, we see the blow or I took the blow, but in the second, I delivered the blow. So that's a difference. So you say, this is the subject, this is the object. The subject is before the verb. Yeah. Okay. So for that one, only substitute, who hit me? Yeah. And for the other one, I hit somebody. Somebody is the object, is after the verb. Means yeah. that we have a subject, so we need an auxiliary. Who did I hit? Who, Who did I? Did I hit? Uh -huh. Okay. When it's object, you use uh, auxiliary. When it's no object. I, when it's a, an object pronoun, yes. Mm -hmm. When we talk about things, we use what. When we talk okay. about people, we use who. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But let me Thank give you. let me give you a couple of examples in the board. Hey, I didn't I didn't open the board today. <clears throat> Let's open the board. Here it is. Okay, I'll give you an example. We're going to call them, I'm going to give you the universal verb. Teacher, the universal verb? Love. Yeah. Let me change the color. Universal, what's the universal verb? No. Okay. Love, <laughs> exactly. Mary loves Julio. Mary loves Julio. Okay, let's make it bigger. Okay. So, check over here. Mary and Julio. This is the verb. Before the verb, the question is made only with a substitution, right? Simple substitution. So I'm going to put here substitution. Why substitution? Because you will see. And with this one, with this one, I'm going to put here auxiliary. Why? Because we will need an auxiliary. Let me call this one. And let me call this one. And then we say like this. A, question A. Question A, A asks about Mary. The answer will be Mary. So we say, who loves Julio? Who loves Julio? Who loves Julio? The answer is Mary does. Mary does. Right? Mary does. Okay. B. For B, the answer to the question has to be Julio. But I write that because he's married the subject. But with Julio, I don't write does. I only write Julio. So we say like this, check. Who does Mary love? Who does Mary love? The answer is Julio. Mm -hmm. Who loves Julio? Uh, who loves Julio? Mary does. Mary loves Julio. Okay, another example. Okay, Jack. Bought a toy, a toy, como toy, right? Notice, I say over here, this is, and this is B. Okay, 
I say A. Who bought a toy? Who? Because it's substitution, right? It's substitution. Who bought a toy? Who bought a toy? Jack did. Jack did. Why did? Because it's the past tense. Jack did. But then we have the other one, B. What? Okay, did Jack buy? Because a toy is a thing. So we use what? What did uh, Jack buy? What did Jack buy? A toy. The last example, I'm going to put it somewhere here. Seem. Uh, my car broke down. My car broke down. We don't need, uh, I mean, we don't have an object. So only a subject. Question is going to be only A. What do we say? What broke down? Right, for A. The question is, what broke down? And what do you say? My car did. But what else can you say? Instead of saying the whole thing, you can say, what happened? Hey, what happened? My car broke down. 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 Okay, excellent. Now let's continue with the exercise. All right, I'm going to send you First, I'm going to create the groups. We are 16 with me, uh, 16 with me. So I'm going to make four groups because I don't want them to be too small so that you may help one another. Groups are opening. Okay, my dear ones, the groups are opening and uh, Are you today? I'm fine, thank you. you I'm fine. Fine. What's up? What's up in San Francisco, Otera, Rudy? Mm, nice, but now I'm not there. I'm in La Union now. <clears throat> 
It's hot or or you 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 have wind cool mm. wind. No, it's a little hot. It's hot <laughs> normally. Mm -hmm. yeah. More or less. <clears throat> okay. Make make now, everything. We're going to order. Uh, no, make the appropriate questions for the for their answers. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, the first one, the answer is I live in San Miguel. What could be the the question? Where do you live? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or yeah, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where, where do you live? Where do you live? Yes. Okay. Okay. Where do you live? Let me change the color. Maybe I want to work with black. Okay. Hi. Where do you live? I live in San Miguel. Is the activity the number this slide number ten? Okay, we need to do the structure to the sentence. Uh, Jose Norberto first. Okay, um, where I live? I live in San, San Mike, San Miguel. Okay, the, the sentence, the right sentence, the question sentence. Sorry, excuse me. The answer is I live in San Miguel. And the question is? Where, where I live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Because we need to, to, do, to use the auxiliary. Where, yeah. Where do you live? I live in San, San Miguel. In San Miguel. In San Miguel. Okay, in the second, Rene Osvaldo or me? No, Rene Osvaldo, are you driving? Take care. No, no, no. Take care, Rene. Um, border? No, I was born in Cabañas. Where do you, no. Do you, do you born there? He's right. No. No. Where? Where? No, I was born in Cabañas. Do you? No. Where? <laughs> I, I hack it. Wrong. <laughs> okay, Wrong. No. Do you born there? Were you born? Were you born there? Were you? Were you, were you, were you born? Ah, yeah. Were you? Yes. Were you born there? Were you born there? Naciste allí? No, I was born in Cabañas. Yes. No. Okay. Marie. You are Marie. Yes, I am. Yes. Are you married? Okay. Are you married? Yeah. Okay. Are you married? No, Marie. Uh, how long do you 
Marion. No, how long have you? How long have you, Marion? No, how uh, long have you been married? <laughs> how long? <laughs> how long? I've be been, I be been married for have you been married, yes. What is the answer, Jose Norberto? 25 years. I am being married for 20 years. Yeah. We have five minutes. Yes. Year, no, 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 llevaría all. Year all, no, verdad. Years. Oh, oh, years ago. No, no es necessary, teacher. Uh, all. Hace 25 años. No, it's the present. For 25 years, no. For, you use a go with past tense. Ah, in past tense. Present perfect, no. Ah, no. Okay. This is the total time, the total time that you have been married so for 25 years. Yes, it's the total. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And do you do you have children? Yes, we do. We have five children. No matter. You're welcome. Well, yeah. And uh, do you know the next one? Uh, the number two. Uh, uh, where's where's no, maybe not. Where do, do I you, live? Where. No, Where? the number two. Okay. Number two, we, let me see. Well, I don't I know don't the number know. two, really. Where do who, you born now? Uh, who born, who born here? Who born there? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> let me see again. Yes, I know. I don't know the exactly appropriate question to the answer, right? Where? Okay, no. I was born in Kawai. Where? You born there? Where you born there? Because you Where you born there? Where do you live? First question is, where do you live? I live in uh -huh. Santiago. Were you born there? No, I was born in Cabañas. Oh, okay. I Oh, Thank sorry. You. I uh, don't understand that it's a conversation. Just I think okay. about a, a sentence with any sense about the next and the last. Sorry. Okay. Number three. Are you married? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, how long did Have you been. marry? No. How long? Uh, no, I think we need to say the the, the question. The last. Does she have a job now? I know she does. Does she have a job? Does, does she have? A job? He, does, does she have a job now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Next. Okay, next. Orange, two. 
No. <laughs> ah, why is possible? Why? Um. But separate a little. Okay, but you can see. Yes. Or no. Okay. The next is who does question in order? The first. Yes. Are you ready? When was this called? Mm. When was? Mm -hmm. When was? Who is this house? Okay. Okay. When was built this house? Okay, next. Next. How, how is cheese made? Mm. Repeat, please, Emma. How is, how mm -hmm. is cheese made? Oh, how is how is made cheese? Made cheese. How is made cheese? Made um. Okay. How is made cheese? Yes. Mm -hmm. or no. I think it's it's missing a uh, um uh, something. Um, how is may maybe this cheese or that cheese maybe? It's um, okay. Cheese in general. Estas solo las vamos a ordenar. Uh, in general. Ah, okay. In general. Okay. 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 Number number three. Ignacio? Please, um... Only one question. <clears throat> what, was... what, what's the subject in question in question number one? What's the subject? House. This house, right? This house. Auxiliary. What's your auxiliary? Um, was. Was. What's the verb? Was built, and the question is W H auxiliary subject and the verb. Uh, okay. 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 
Okay. So in that case, maybe, the, number maybe three, the, the number three. Uh, when was invented when, the computer? When was the computer? Remember the subject before? Yeah, okay. When was the computer invent? Invent. Yeah. Okay, the number number eight, Rene. Eh, uh, sería which which did you <clears throat> which you did didn't 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 mm -hmm. <clears throat> to yeah. the party coming. Yes, why didn't why you come to the party? We didn't. You the party, party, why, party, come in. Why didn't, why didn't you come to the party? Yes, that's right. You go to the party, you come in. Why didn't you come to the party? Ah, okay, you put a con al final. Uh, eh, 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 este creo que, creo, creo, no sé. How did the happen the accident uh, how did the accident happen yes yes how did happen the accident no how did the accident happen yes how did the accident happen the accident happen yeah that's ah, right. Okay. And the number 10, Jose Robert? Number 10. Yes, why, does, why doesn't work this machine? Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I lost my connection. <laughs> The computer. Okay. Um, the question is part. Mauri, you don't have to start my cargador, for who lives in that house? Number Who seven. lives in that house? Yes. I I yeah. fell uh -huh. over something. Uh, what? Uh, what I fell. What do What do you say? What I fell. What I fell. No. I. Mm, what. I. <laughs> it's almost the same as the number two. Number two. Yes. But I been I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that about the number, number two, two? We say who? In the number two, we say who? <laughs> who? Who fell over something? No. Who's who? Something? No. What? No. What I what uh, fell 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 I over <laughs> I don't know the hey, teacher. <laughs> what do you think about number eight? Number <laughs> my friends, the order of the question is always W H word. Okay. Yes. Yes. Subject verb. The auxiliary, the subject, and the verb. Okay. What did I felt? Okay, and here is, sorry, we say Pass. something is what? What did yeah. I fell over? What did I fall? Sorry. What did I uh -huh, yeah, yeah. over? What? Okay, thank you. Fall <laughs> what? What did I fall? Did over? I fell fell over. What did I? Yeah. Fall? over 
Okay. Okay. Number nine. Who? Mm, no, it's what? Something. Sí, ya estoy. <laughs> sí. Okay. Okay. Why? Uh -huh. Why isn't isn't negative? Why isn't Sue working today? What isn't? We're working. Oh, why Sue isn't working today? Sería. Why Supremo? Why Sue? Por... Uh -huh. Why Sue mm -hmm. isn't working today? <laughs> Why? No, 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 why isn't? We all what is... have what? WH word, why? Ah, why? Yeah. Why? It's what? The auxiliary. Yeah. Okay. The auxiliary. What's the auxiliary? Isn't. What isn't? Ah, isn't. And then. Yeah. What? Two. Two. Working today. It's so working today. WH word. Okay. Okay. Pero hay que cambiar el. No es what. No, my friend. Oh, he put in order. It's not what ah. who anymore <laughs> yet. Okay, so ah, okay. I isn't to why isn't to working today. Okay. Uh, and you say ah because it's her day off. Okay. Ah. Okay. That is what time. Uh, ah. Your friend coming. Mm -hmm. coming. Why, why was what? What would belong to somebody or who? Who? Who does? Who does this book belong to somebody? Somebody is the who. So you eliminate who. By by who? Oh. Say who does this book belong to? Who does this book belong to? Who does this book belong to? Only two is missing. Uh -huh. Who does this book belong to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next. Belong. The number six is right, teacher. Who who, who does book belong to? Who does this book? Uh, belong to? Who does this who belongs book? to? Who does this book belong to? Yes. Who does this yes. book belong to? Uh -huh. Who does this okay. book belong to? Because we yes. eliminate somebody because that is who. Bye bye. Because it's the answer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then you put who, and because we have a subject, this book, we use does. Yeah. Who this book does. belong to. Okay. Who does this book belong to? Who does this, this book belong, belong, belong to? Yeah. ¿A quién le pertenece? ¿A quién? Ok. The number seven. Who is the turn? René. René Osvaldo, is your turn? 
Yeah. Only you, hi. <laughs> So, so you finished, my friends. It's a, yes. Excellent. Yes. In a moment, we'll we don't know. know. We don't. <laughs> yes, we don't if you know. correct, <laughs> however, we try, teacher. Yes, in a moment, we're going to see. We try the best. Bit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right now, because time is eating us. Yes, let's go. And yes. Let's, okay. Let's, let's go and check. Teacher, the activity was more complicated than I believed. <laughs> I imagine that uh, it was going to be simpler, but the idea is that you're going to be working with questions, so you need to know how to create the question. Right, so that's why we were working on questions. Uh -huh. That's the idea. All right, my friends, we are here. All, we are all here. So, what's the normal word order for a question? Okay, let me see. I'm going to put here the normal word order for a WH question. WH question. So we have WH. Auxiliary. Then after the auxiliary, we have the subject. And after the subject, we have the verb. And if there is a complement, okay, a complement, right? So, and that is the question, okay? So we say, where does Maria come from? When do you study the lesson? What has he been doing? Okay. Where have you uh, been working, etc.? So this is the normal word order. Okay. If the if the question is with a verb, the, let's say with is in the present. For example, you study, okay, the question is very simple. All you have to do is add do at the beginning of the sentence. Do you study, except no capital, right? So do you study? So if this, but there is always the auxiliary, the subject and the verb. If it's a verb to be, what do we do with the verb to be? We move it to the beginning of the sentence. And other, other auxiliaries too. Say like this, um, check. My friends, check out here. How do we make the question? Simple. Is he, is he working right now? Exactly. The, this one is the auxiliary moves to the beginning. And always you're going to have the same order. 
auxiliary subject verb complement in the question. So you say, is she working now? Is she working now? So that would be the question. All right. Now, my friends, the first question, where do you live? I'm going to give you the answers because we don't have time. And I want you to pay attention to, anyhow, you did it already. So correct the mistakes that you made, if you made mistakes. Probably you didn't, okay? Let's see, where do you live? Where do you live? I live in San Miguel. Were you born there? My dear Nitos, I'm going to explain this because believe me, that is necessary. Okay, the verb is bear. Past tense, bore. Okay, past participle, born. But for the passive, born. For the passive voice, born. Normal verb, born. Okay, what's the, what's the meaning? What's the meaning? Parir. Parir a donde? No, no, parir, the verb have a baby. Okay, so. Teacher, but the verb is dar a luz. No. Dar a luz is figurative, it's the poetic form. Okay, the correct form is parir. Okay, parir. The same as the period is preñez. Is, is correct uh, form of parir. Parir is the correct verb. Uh, I see, oh, I see. Uh, that it's in, but. Yeah, it's an, it sounds uh, ugly. But the correct verb is parir. In the period is preñez. People say embarazo, but the, the, the name is preñez. That is ugly, right? But correct, correct. Is the, cor the correct form. Okay, now check over here. Okay, uh, we say like this. Mickey, my mother bore me in Chalatenango. Okay. Not to use parir, we're going to say me tuvo, okay? <laughs> so, me tuvo. My mom, me tuvo in Chalatenango, right? My mom bore me in Chalatenango. To, to transform this to passive voice, what do we do? We bring the object to be the subject and the subject to be the object. So I say, me transforms into I. And then what's the auxiliary for the passive voice? Was, Where? it's past tense. Oh, what? Was, I was, and what's the form for the passive voice? Born. I was born by my mother in Chalatenango. So literally, what are we saying here? My mother is not necessary to be mentioned. So we say, don't mention my mother, okay? So we eliminate my mother and we say, I was born in Chalatenango. I was born in Chalatenango and we translate it nasi. Nasi, no credit for the mom, no credit for the mom. I did everything, nasi. The effort was my mom's effort. So, fui parido, okay, by my mom. Fui parido en Chalatenango, okay. Me tuvieron en Chalatenango, so I was born in Chalatenango. That's why you say like this. Ejercieron en Chalatenango. Sorry? <laughs> Ejercieron. Ejercieron, <laughs> yes. I was born in Chalatenango. So the question is, okay, notice this is composite, was born. So the question here is, 
were you born where because was is for I, but for you is where. Were you born there? No, I was born in Cabañas. I was born in Cabañas. Are you married? Yes, I am. Are you married? Yes, I am. How long have you been married? How long have you been married? I've been married for 25 years. Do you have any children? Do you have any children? Yes, we do. We have five children. How old are they? How old are they? They are 22, 20, 18, 16, and 14, every two years. Okay, what do you do? I'm a lawyer. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. What does your wife do? What does your wife do? She's a secretary. She's a secretary. Where is she from? Because here is, where are you from? Now here is, where is she from? She's from San Miguel. Does she have a job now? No, she doesn't. Does she have a job now? No, she doesn't. Why do we say she? Because the answer is she. Does, where is she from? She's from San Miguel. Does she have a job now? No, she doesn't. The second question, the, sec the second set of questions. We have to <laughs> move because we are getting eaten. Okay. When was this house built? WH. Sorry, I'm going to change, probably change the color. No, I'm going to put it down up here. W H auxiliary object verb and complement if there is a complement in the question. All right, my friends, this is the word order. This is the order. When was this house built? When was this house built? How is cheese made? ¿Cómo se hace el queso? How is cheese made? How is cheese made? When was the computer invented? When was the computer invented? Why isn't Sue working today? Why isn't Sue working today? What time are your friends coming? Why was the trip canceled? Why was the trip canceled? Where was your mother born? Where was your mother born? Why didn't you come to the party? Why didn't you come to the party? How did the accident happen? How did the accident happen? How did the accident happen? Why doesn't this machine work? Why doesn't this machine work? Questions with who and what? Who hit me? Who, who did I hit? Who did I hit? Who did I hit? The example, okay. Somebody paid the bill. Question, who paid the bill? Who paid the bill? Something happened. Hey, what happened? What happened? Diane said something. What did Diane say? What did Diane say? Okay, what did Diane say? This book belongs to somebody. Who does this book belong to? Who does this book belong to? Somebody lives in that house. Who lives in that house? Who lives in that house? I fell over something. What did I fell? What did I fall over? What did I fall over? Something fell off the shelf. 
what fell off the shelf? What fell off the shelf? This word means something. What does this word mean? What does this word mean? I borrowed the money from somebody. Who did you borrow? Who did you borrow the money from? Who did you borrow the money from? I'm worried about something. Oh, what are you worried about? What are you worried? What are you worried about? What are you worried about? Okay, continue. Now let's push because of here. These questions, you're going to have to do them for homework, okay? Transform into questions. Provide a short answer. Example, Kate won't be late. Will Kate be late? No, she won't. Will Kate be late? No, she won't. You're tired. Are you tired? Yes, I am. You travel a lot. Do you travel a lot? Okay, so do this in your house. Now, we're going to study the model, model of questions. These are the questions that we're going to be using in the survey. Okay, listen to the questions and tell me if you agree. And if there are other questions that you can ask, because you're going to be thinking about a specific product, there will be other questions to include. Check over here. How long have you been using the product? Which alternatives did you consider before purchasing the product? Which alternatives? This alternative, this other alternative? The questions here are in general. You have to adapt some of these questions and create other questions about the product that you will be uh, analyzing. Okay, how often do you use the product or service? Four, does the product help you achieve your goals? Five, what's your favorite tool or portion of the product or service? What would you improve if you could? What of the product would you improve if you could? Which product features, which product features do you consider the most uh, valuable? Which product feature do you use most often in your day to day? What points of friction have you encountered while using the product? What difficulties, what problems, okay? If there was one new feature you could suggest, what would it be and why? Okay, these are the questions. Now, my friends, we're going to go to, I'm going to call roll first and then we enter this. Anaselmi Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Delmi Carranza de Guzman. Danny Anthony Sigüenza Ventura. Danis Alberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Jose Ignacio Franco. Jose Norberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Karin. No can, okay. Isabel Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent. Maria Emma Catalina de, de Rosales. Present teacher. Excellent. 
Arvin Alexander Bonilla. Uh, Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Present teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Nice. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez. Rudy Josué Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Wonderful. Now let's continue. Continue, continue. Let me see. It's a Lululu and uh, uh oh, you know, this time. Okay. Let's see. I'm sharing this. Now, my dear niños, let's continue. Let's get to the task and questions on uh, focus groups. Instructions, instructions. Please follow these instructions. Choose a product to be tested. Two, think of 10 questions to ask your focus group about the product. At least 10 questions. I hope that you can, okay? So that's why we were practicing questions for you to make good questions. Appoint someone to report the answers, okay? Someone will be collecting the answers and then report. Have all the members of the group answer the questions. The members of the group are going to be the focus group. Have, okay, report to the class, okay? So after this, you're going to report. Right now you have to work on this, choose the product, think of the questions, appoint someone to recollect the answers. Okay, then answer the questions, everybody together answer the questions and report to the class. So let's go to the groups right now. This is page 17. There are going to be only four groups again, probably only three groups, three groups, so that it's much better, okay? Let's create again, Let's reduce to three groups. Okie dokie. So uh, please, everybody try to, get involved so that uh, not only two people answer the questions and have to report, everybody try to do it, okay? So I know that sometimes it's difficult, but you can do it, okay? Come on, you can do it. Question, I mean, the groups are open.
You're working on page 17. Okay, Rudy. Okay. This is the product teacher is sports shoes. Ah, perfect. You have okay. to think of the brand, Adidas, ah. Nike, or Bracos, La Línea Atlética de Adoc. Ah. <laughs> y Bracos is a Salvadorian brand. Originally, yeah. I think it was, but they, mm -hmm. they sold it. But ah, yeah. Bracos, you remember, when was Bracos? And that then people use it to say angry. Uh, he's Braco. Uh, you remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> in 19, what? 1980. Bracos, la línea atlética. You remember maybe 80, 84, 85, 86. Now the, the shoes, Bracos, are expensive. They don't exist here anymore. Don't exist. I think that they don't exist anymore because they were sold to a company, I think to, to a company in the United States, I think or some, but ah, okay. you remember that Adoc made it. But Adoc? Adoc, the one in Soyapango made it. Yeah. But then, I don't know what. Uh, yeah. 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 And what what brand do you prefer, Rudy? Mm. Adidas. 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 Ah, yes. Adidas. Adidas. Mm -hmm. Adidas. Okay. 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 Uh, I don't know where I'm going to find out the same question. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We need to think. Mm -hmm. Same question to ask your focus group about the sports shoes, Adidas, 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 copy Adidas. And paste. <laughs> yeah, copy paste. <laughs> copy and paste. <laughs> Number one, Rui. Uh, I hope teacher don't doesn't have a copyright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one, Rudy. <laughs> Mm. Is um, the question is for this tester? Yes, yeah, 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 in a for the group. tester. Yes, in a focus group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, then question about the Christmas tree. The yes. product. Yes. The product. And our focus group, right? Maybe we can uh, begin with a question as uh, Do you celebrate it? Uh, yeah. Let me see. Can 2.1, maybe. What do you say? The question already. Yes. Do you have uh, some question? Nothing. What is the material we make to build the <laughs> the Christmas tree, for example? Can you repeat it, sorry? What 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 material we we made for build the 
Christmas tree? Did you prefer? What kind of material do you prefer for your Christmas tree? Plastic. Yes, uh, we can put. Uh, did you pro, um, what buy? Kind of do you buy? Do you buy? Uh, you can put put them, but it's not your first question, right? Because it's like a sound sounds strong to the beginning to an a focus group. But, uh, if you can write it, uh, the question right now. Uh, who is? Pumpkins, who is? Okay, perfect. Hoggies. So right now, think, um, think of 10 questions to ask for focus group about the product, okay? Um, 10, 10 questions. questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maria, can you take the nap? ¿Puede tomar las notas usted? Mm, pero, un... ah, okay. Yeah. And you will be the recorder for the class. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh -huh. So. so ah, no, le puede escribir ahí en la pantalla. No, no puedo decir. No, hasta ahí no llegó a decir. Uh, bueno, eh, ten question. Yes. To so ask mm. you focus group about the product. So the first, uh, have you ever it. used Haggis? Mm. Or have you ever listened about Haggis brand? Mm. Um, for example, um, difficult. Um, for example, how long does a bumper this this bear? Uh, no sé cómo, o sea, cuánto dura el, un Pampers, por ejemplo. Ay, yo no les puedo opinar porque no tengo bebés. <risa> ¿Y nunca ha tenido? No. ¿Y no va a tener? <risa> Creo que no. <risa> <Okay>. <risa> ah, eso es lo que se me ocurrió, que es lo más... Ah. Ah, pues entonces Carlita que puede tomar sí. la nota. <risa> Porque ella entiende un poquito más. Ella entiende más. A mí me cuesta bastante. Um, vamos a ver. Como por ejemplo, ¿cuánto dura un... Um, el, o del question... Espérame, vaya, espérame. ¿Cuánto, ¿Quieren saber cuánto dura un pamper? Yo lo voy a yes. buscar. Vale. Entonces, espérame. Eh... Adidas. Mm -hmm. Do you know about Adidas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, maybe. It's important to note if the consumer feel Comfortable? Comfortable? When do you use, ah, yes, what do you feel the uh -huh, way? Uh -huh. But in the second question, for me, is more related to the, 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 the perception when you use the, the brand, the specific brand. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. What do you feel wearing the Rolex? What do you feel? Uh, maybe status. <laughs> ah, in that case, how do you feel? Uh, yeah, it, it, when when I heard the question in my oh, mind uh -huh. related to the 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 how the feelings the feelings yeah exactly oh, okay, the okay. feelings 
the feelings uh, like proud or about the wearing the specific mm. uh, brand yeah you feel high class <laughs> maybe when, when why why do you want to buy a uh, mercedes benz <laughs> <laughs> like you're traveling in first class <laughs> Is, is perception of it's perception how, okay but but you want to ask how how do you how they hmm. the question is related in the the, the get of information uh, about the, the how comfortable ah, okay, com okay. comfortable okay. yes comfortable, comfortable. Are, yeah. are adidas how comfortable okay are yes are adidas Mm -hmm. How comfortable are they? Yeah, yes, it's important to know how comfortable. Are they with us? Okay, yeah, related to the use, the future, features, the using when we are. Mm, um, do you feel wearing recommended we could ask uh, the, the quality too the quality of the product maybe yeah yeah important to to know mm. um, but depend of the test because uh, maybe comparative test mm -hmm. the, the question is uh, do you prefer the adidas brand or nike brand uh, not because um let me see oh we assume that the test is mona monadic yeah, yeah in that case yeah remember the mm -hmm. focus group yes but, but it's to be tested mm. the product to be tested mm -hmm. the question the price equality when what do you think yeah. when you hear the brand idea do you feel I don't know how to 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 make the, the question, but I want to to know if Adidas mm. or oh, what do you think about the quality or quality or, or materials? Yes, I want to know si Adidas mm, cumple las expectativas. Compliance home. Mm, I don't know what pair we can use. Does it live up to your expectations? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Okay. Does it uh, does it live up to your expectations? Okay. Live of the verb vivir. Uh-huh. Oh, live up. Okay, live up, live up, live up. Up to your expectations okay thank you teacher See, this is the 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 answer we we um it related to the the if the product uh, is according to you do you want or do you like uh-huh do you want uh, or do you or, or the the if you want if you like mm -hmm. okay that's it lip up lip up lip up mm -hmm. to your expectation mm. how many questions okay. do you have no only i write the 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 last question how many we have 
How many do you have? Uh, how many? Uh, how many? How are, many pairs? How many questions pairs. do we have now? Um, how, please, how many will you have? How 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 many are missing? Four. Four? No, no the three are missing. No, oh, Ana Chévez, oh. there are no at all. Because Ana they... ha, 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 no, Seven. Ana Chévez have more. Only more, more question. question. Only one. It, it's missing Only. one, right? Yes. Okay. We, we have the night. Only three. No, teacher. When I start reading, uh, writing on the on the on the right board, Ana Chévez uh, has two writing on the I... book. She has already. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. mm -hmm. Only one is you're missing. No. One, 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 one. I want to know. Let me see. Or maybe how many pairs of the shore in average do you want to have? Or uh, do you say how many pairs in how many? Because the, the question related to the intention for buy again, yeah. again. Mm. What about if you ask if they... Oh, how many pairs do you want to have for oh, of Adidas shoes? ¿Cuántos pares de zapatos adidas o te gustaría tener o? But maybe it's not for a focus group. Because for the focus group when we use the test. Doesn't give us a, a information, a pure information. Do you, do you buy this pair of the shoes? Mm, in that case, we can do this question. Mm, do you? What do you mm, consider? What do you consider that we could? I don't know if I'm writing well. What do you consider that we could do? Oh, no, no, no. Maybe can be uh, open. Can be open, so. I think the another question about the Christmas tree is, what place do you choose to put in, in your house? Uh, what place do you choose? Uh, what, uh, uh, what room did you prefer? Uh, what room did you prefer? No. What place do you prefer? Yes, what place? What place do you choose? Did you choose? Mm -hmm. Did you choose? Yeah, living room. Outdoor. Yes. Out. Yeah. Outdoor. Out. Out. Outdoor. Outdoor. Out. Out. Yeah. Outdoor. Mm. 
How many questions? Ten. Ten, ten questions, you know. We have seven. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five, 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 six, six, seven. Seven. We seven. seven. <laughs> we need three questions. Oh. Mm. Uh, I lines and new lines too. <laughs> what? What? Do you I, do you like by lines? Lines. Lines. Light. Yes, light. Light. Lighting. Yeah, lighting from the Christmas tree. I'll start on the up the Christmas tree. While while is cierto que los pueblos han salido de la noche la terrestre. No. Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. um, esta Deep Coca-Cola Great Santa Claus. Ajá, uh -huh. eso es. Who is the most remembered character in Coca-Cola adverse? ¿Cuál es el personaje más recordado de la publicidad de Coca-Cola? Mm, Who is the most remembered character in Coca-Cola adversity? Ok. Um... Y Emma, este, Hello. <laughs> do you write the question? Do you agree the price of Coca Cola? A question. Uh, but I remember we say. Do you agree the price of Coca-Cola? But I don't remember if you take a note. It's a green white Okay, if you finish, please answer the questions. Okay. And count, and count the answers to report. Okay. We, we need to question more. Yes. Mm. Yes. If you finish the questions, you may answer them. Yes, I, yes. I'm working on it. Report the information. Yes, we're working yeah. on it. Uh, Ricardo, in compare with the Puma, Adidas is higher. 
the, the price? Eh, Puma Intermed. No sé cómo se dice intermedio. El cost, okay. customer. Adidas es, es premium, es elevadísimo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y, in my mind, Puma y Adidas, the price are similar. Eh, yes. Yes. Y Quality Sara. Eh, eh, con Mochino, Nike, Reebok, Nike, Nike, Sketcher, eh, only Sketchers is intermediate, right? Yes, not so expensive. Sketcher, Sketcher is is mark uh, shoes. Aha, uh -huh, yes, yes, but the price is is similar or is lower? Similar to. Uh, Similar. Uh -huh. Similar. Ah. In comfort, in comfort, for me, Puma. Puma, for me, in, in compared with the Adidas. Yes, for me, mm. uh, for, for motorcycle driver. Mm. Uh, pues, es más, siento yo que es más. Soft. Ah, me, me protege un poquito más. Y me, ah. el tipo de suela que tiene. Eh, me, me dura un poquito más que las adidas, las adidas eh, en, en motorcycle eh, daña, o sea, difícil eh, el hecho de cambios de velocidad y puma, y puma. Yes, y, y puma good information y, y puma, y puma eh, 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 tiene es, no sé, tiene liner a uh, moto sport shoes Puma. special Puma. sí yes but the best is caterpillar right for motorcycles yes motorcycles yes like like moto sport caterpillar is better eh, yes yes eh, mm -hmm. unas yes unas caterpillar for me eh, protect eh, tobillos yes en eh, mm -hmm. eh, eh, one accident Caterpillars are forever. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Eternos. Yes. <laughs> yes. Eternos. Rudy, Rudy, see, the Ricardo has a lot of information about the, the brand. Yes. Very important because he preferred no. the other the other brand, but is <laughs> the cringe. <laughs> um how much time we, we can how? put a uh, option option but uh more i don't know Rango. Uh, uh, yes, Rango. We, we don't put them because we do a uh, open questions ah okay but i really i don't never buy a christmas tree so i don't know how much can can cost maybe I the more that I can pay are 50. Mm. Yeah, 50. If it can, if I can, um, 50 or 15? 50. 50. Okay. Is it okay? Yes, to me. I don't know, Don Ignacio. In, uh, may, maybe 20, $25. Yes, maybe I'm going to uh, buy a Christmas tree in an uh, offer in sale in January. Hey, yeah. <laughs> For the next year, yes, oh, this year with, with time. Mm -hmm. In my case, 100. Oh, <laughs> the maximum money, <laughs> very expensive. Yes, is the five PS. <laughs> <laughs> yes, too big. Alberto, right? 
Or yes. 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 <laughs> but you forget the uh, another R. Have you ever tried? Esta me la dijo oh, Carlos. No. Sé. no. Me dijo. <laughs> Otro Carlos. <laughs> Maybe another uh, Carlos. <laughs> Otro Carlos. Que, um, ya le dije. How often? Ah, no, es que me dijo. How often? How often? How often, uh -huh. How often do you drink Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. Esta que me la dijo. El que se I, guess, I guess me. <laughs> Uh, yes. uh -huh. uh, have you ever tried? No, no, no. Uh, how how often? often? Yes. Do you, how often do you drink Coca-Cola? Alguna vez has probado Coca-Cola, me dijeron. Oh, yes. Uh, it's correct. Yes. This is another question. question. Is correct. But, uh -huh. Have uh -huh. you ever tasted Coca-Cola? Eso sí está bien así. O, hay, o do you... No, así está uh, bien. Have you ever... Es okay. ok. Have you ever tasted Coca-Cola? Uh, have you ever tried? Tres. No, tastes. Taste. Ah, taste. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever... <laughs> have you ever, have ever tried? Probado. No, probado es taste. Ah, taste. pero es que es... I can say try. Sabor, try. Okay. Try it. Okay. 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 You are trying Remember. to answer in the questions. Because you need to report. Yes. Actually, Maria Emma is writing the answers. Okay. Yes, is writing the answers. Excellent. And review the question. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the question is, have you ever? The answer is, in my case, yes, I have. What about you, Carlita? What? Have you ever drink, have you ever tried Coca-Cola? Price. Try. Price. Price. Oh, yes, yes, I Um, how how often do you drink? How uh, often? In, okay, in my case, once a week. It's agreed. It's agreed with the price of the Coca-Cola. No, do you? No, the question is. Oh, do, do you, you? Do you agree? Agree. agree. Yes. Do you agree with the price of the Coca-Cola? Yeah. 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 It's expensive, but like, do you so prefer so. do you prefer Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Coca-Cola. Coca <laughs> do you know who was the creator of the famous Coca-Cola? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, what are the most Pemberton. memorable slogan? Dr. Pemberton was the creator of Coca-Cola. Oh. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> 1839, if I'm not mistaken. So it has more than 100 years. Dr. Pemberton sold it five cents the glass. Yeah. Emotion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what what are the most memorable slogans de Coca-Cola? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, um, yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, other uh, question, uh, question. Did Coca-Cola
Well. Okay, now that everybody's out, at least the 15 who are present, uh, group one, could you please report? Group one is Jose Carlos, Carlita, Maria Emma, Rene. So who is going to report? Um, do you do you know most sugar does the Coca Cola? Um, have you ever tried? Coca-Cola. How often do you drink Coca-Cola? Um, number four, do you do you agree with the price of Coca-Cola? Uh, number five, do you prefer Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Number six. Do you know who was the creator of the famous Coca-Cola? Uh, number seven, what are the most memorable slogans the Coca-Cola? Um, number eight, did Coca-Cola create Santa Claus? And number nine, how, how long can Ah, Coca Cola last lost. In number ten, number ten, how did Coca Cola reach reach different? Okay, what answers did you get? I have to answer them, the question teacher. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. Next, okay, it's all right, no problem, it's all right. Next group, who would like to, uh, number two? Thank you, Maria Emma, thank you very much. Thank you, group one, okay, thank you very much. So let's get to, let's listen to group number two. Group number two is Ana, Ana Chévez, eh, Pedrina, Ricardo, and Rudy. Okay, teacher and classmates, our questions are following. Have you ever used Adidas sport shoes? What do you think about it? Features. What do you think when you hear the brand Adidas? 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 How do you feel wearing Adidas shoes? Could you recommend the Adidas shoes? What do you think about the price? How much do you know about Adidas? How 
comfortable are Adidas shoes? Does it live up to your expectation? How could we improve this product? Mm -hmm. Our answer in general, we get information related to the, the product uh, has a high quality and the experience of the participant, uh, they feel happy and so excited when you use the, the product. And the participants um, recommended the, the brand for the other the the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, about the price, it's okay, but the, the price is higher in compared with the other uh, brand of the shoes. And the shoes are comfortable when the people wear, wear it. Wear them. Wear. 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 Yeah. Wear them. And it is possible that the product um, leap up the expectative? Expectations. Expectation. Expectation for the customer. Okay. Of the customer. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. That's nice. You're very welcome. Good. Thanks. Okay. And thank for the Ricardo for the all information about the, the competition. <laughs> okay. Thank you, group two. Now, group three. Group three is Guadalupe del Carmen, Don Ignacio, Norbert. Karina and Pam. Okay, Karina. Uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, to our questions, we we are going to say the question and the answers too, and this to get the order. Well, our tested product was is the Christmas tree, and the first question was is do you celebrate Christmas? And all we celebrate Christmas. What kind of materials do you prefer? We put a plastic or natural tree, and all we prefer a plastic. What size do you prefer? In that, uh, in this question, we have a uh, different answer. I'm sorry, sorry, large, medium, and a small. And we have an one to prefer me large, three prefer medium, and one is small. Uh, what is the better option? Uh, buying, buying pieces or buying assemble, and we prefer to all to buy it assemble. Um, what color do you prefer? We put as green or white, and all we prefer uh, green. And how much are you willing to pay for a Christmas tree? This uh, kind of open question. So we have a different option, uh, different answer, different answer. Sorry. In my case, fifty dollars, uh, seventy five. Uh, 100 and well, I went 20, sorry, 20, <laughs> 25 and 75. Um, what place do you choose for your new, what place do you choose for your new tree? Uh, we put a living room or outdoors and so in, we three, sorry, Four people prefer in living room, but one in outdoors. Do you like to buy light? All of all, we prefer uh, buy the light to the Christmas tree. And do you buy a star for your Christmas tree? We put yes or no. In the all prepared uh, to buy it. And where do you buy 
um, where do you buy it? We put online store, on the street, botanical store, or a market. And it's some, only one person prefer buying on the street and four in a, on a market. And that's all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pam. Thank you, group three. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for okay, participating in the exercise and uh, getting involved in it. Okay. Hey, good job, right? Excellent. Very good. Okay. Good job. Okay. So let, let me call roll. Let me call roll and uh, then we. Okay. Anacelmi Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana, Anadelmi Carranza de Guzmán. Uh, Dani Anthony Ventura. Dani Alberto Fuentes. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Carlos Present teacher. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher, three times, please. Yeah, right. Jose Norberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Díaz. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlita. María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Excellent, good job, uh, María Emma. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Marvin, no, okay. Um, Miriam Claribel Jacobo Chiquila. Okay. Pedrina Ileana Gómez. Chair. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Excellent. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Present. Very good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Nice. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez. Okay. Eh, Rudy Sue Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Okay, let's see who stays with me tonight. Today is the, the second, Ana Selma, Selmi Chévez. Okay, so say like this. Uh, everybody, thank you very much for joining me tonight. God bless you all. Sleep well. Please, after this class, go to you, do your homework, and uh, I will be seeing you tomorrow, okay? Good night, my friend. Take care. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes. Rest, please. Descansing. Yes, rest. Rest. Yeah. Yes. Good night, Don Ignacio. Sleep well. Okay. My friend, how are you doing? How can I help you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Um, I need to study this specific topic because I, I come confused. I get confused. Uh, I get confused, but because I need to more practice, to more study the specific topic. For example, the, when, when we use the adverbs the, in the last class. The connectors? The connectors, yes. The connectors, but it's because I am not familiar. Use you're not used to? I'm use. not used to frequently. Uh -huh. in, in, and I need to, to know the, the means 
because I confuse the means. This is my, my fears, reason. I confuse the means mm -hmm. uh, between, between connector, but I know I need to, to study more. Okay, let's go and check some. Let's see. Let's okay. see what we, let me see. Am I and teacher, do you receive my homework? Uh, the homework is in the platform, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. When you send it, it is added to the platform. And then from the platform, I collect it. I yes, because update. only I, I, I see the market, mm -hmm. green, 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 green. Exactly. And then you okay. submit, submit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you submit it, that is complete. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me see, let me open the file because I think I closed my board, okay? Now, yes, okay. I have it open. Let me share it with you and then we're going to this. I'm going to help you. Okay, first, the connectors that you are referring to, I'm going to give you an idea of some of them. Uh, not all of them, but principally the ones that we have been using. Okay. Um, this is something that can be useful to many people. Let me see first. Yeah, I'm going to use, first we have close marker. Yeah, yes, yeah. close marker. Mm -hmm. the, Let's make it slightly smaller. Okay, let's see. First thing is close markers. And then we're going to have like this, we have a, a comma and then we have another part. Okay, these ones are the ones that make adverb clauses. Okay, here, yes, adverb. Mm -hmm. here we normally have Subject, verb, plus complement. Okay, so I'm going to copy it. Okay. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it here because I want to do it faster. Okay, so I can put this one here. And I can put this one here too. Okay, now this is one. The other one is uh, the one that we were using in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Those are the ones that we're going to be checking right now. Okay, semicolon, the word, comma. Period. Okay. And the one that we have here is the transition. I'm going to put here. Okay, transition. Transition. So I'm going to put here trans. I hope that this briefly, I mean that this helps you. Put this. This. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think that we have much time for any other thing, but the last one, the last one that I'm going to present is this one. Okay. The one that we're going to put here is the one that we know as coordinating conjunction. Coordinating? Conjunction. Conjunction, Co okay. Co coordinating conjunction. Okay. Conjunction. Okay. okay. Notice how in these ones we have subject, verb, and complement, subject, verb, and complement. So 
uh, the ones that, that we use here are same, for example, because, because it's late. Because it's late. Uh -huh. We need to go home. Okay. Okay. Because it's late, we need to go home. Okay. Or maybe others that we were using uh, can be like, in order to, only that, in order to, the, the close market is in the middle, right? Sorry, so that we say, they train hard so that the team so that mm -hmm. so the team may win more games okay so we say they train hard so that the team yes. may win more games so this is another one then the other yeah. one over here with the transition maybe you remember that we were using in these ones, moreover, besides, yeah, besides, we say, uh, they, in addition, uh -huh, additionally, 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 in addition, yes, they rebuilt, so that the house, they re rebuilt the house. Uh, Additionally, they, they, they decorated it decorated. professionally. So we say decorated missing an art. So you say they rebuilt the house. Additionally, they redecorated it professionally. So they have yeah. fantastic. Okay. Another example. Betty. Uh, supports her family. Besides this, okay. In, in besides for for furthermore, and the besides furthermore. Moreover. Moreover is the same meaning. Same meaning. Mm -hmm. So Betty supports the family. Besides this, she helps. Uh, uh, other relatives. With their bills. So she says Betty supports her family. Besides this, she helps other relatives with their bills. Okay. She doesn't only support the family, but she also pays the other family's bills. Now, this is with the coordinator. We use but we say, or and. We say, Mary is far away. Okay, L Betty lives, well, with far away, we don't usually use very. Let's eliminate very. Okay, Mary lives far away. And uh -huh. and she uh, doesn't have or additionally and she let's say she lives far away and she has transportation problems.
because sometimes living far is not so not, not a big deal when there is good transportation, right? You live far away, but there is good transportation, no problem. But she lives far away and she has transportation problems. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny needs emotional support. And he also needs affection. They also use between the pronoun, the personal pronoun and the verb. verb. Only also. Yes, exactly. Okay. Johnny needs emotional support and, and he also needs affection. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can put it like that. Now let's use okay. for the other one that we used. Okay. Uh, Tony works very hard all day. But But. but he never feels too tired. Nunca es demasiado cansado. So yeah. Tony works very hard all day, but, but. Never, never feels too tired. Okay. So okay. different types of connectors. Over, okay. over here, the ones that you can put are in. Yeah. While, and while, before, after, before. In these ones, in these ones, in these ones, you may use a moreover, furthermore, therefore. Therefore, therefore uh, in addition, okay, for this reason, as a result, Etc. That's the reason. And with these ones, we use. In order to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We use and, so, but, so, or, but, nor, or, yet, and for. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are the ones that we use. Okay, over here in order to is not in the in the ones here because that is in is a prepositional uh, let's say phrase that is including a verb. In order to is more like in order to plus verb. Sorry. Plus yeah. verb. And after this one. We have the beautiful and traditional. Let me see. I'm going to put it, paste it here. No, said so, no, don't, doesn't let me paste it. Now, yes, paste it. So, okay. in order to subject, verb, and complement, this would be more like in order to learn. You must study. To learn. Okay. You must study hard. Yeah. In order 
to pass, you need to cheat. This is what a teacher told me. In order to learn, you must study hard. But in order to pass, you need to cheat. <laughs> okay. So depend depend of the purpose. Did you say sight? No. Uh -huh. The perspective. The perspective. Yes, depend the perspective <laughs> for the student or for the teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Well. We're going to stop here. I'm going to let you go and do your homework. Okay, and you need to rest besides. So okay. teacher, in for you it's okay because I I feel that I I have a lot of participation in the class, but excellent. No, no, no. Listen. Thank you for participating a lot in class because there are some people that feel shy and they don't want to participate. So uh, the class is interesting as long as people participate. If yeah. People don't participate in it. Okay, imagine that I come, I come and I talk and 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 you don't mm -hmm. do anything. You feel bored. That's why I prepare things and you do them. I only check what you're doing, but the ones that are working, it's you. So for that reason, uh, you feel that you participate, okay? Yes, it's my way to learn. Yes, of course. The way to learn is participating. If you don't participate, of course, how can you learn? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Thank you for participating. In, no, thank in, you for your passion with me. Uh, that is part of the deal and part of the job. And with you, anybody has patience, okay? No problem, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Please sleep well. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? You too. Thanks, I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome, see you tomorrow. Thank God you. first. Oh, yes, God first, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Sure. Take care, my friend. Good night. Good night. Good night.